As a nurse, this is what I do. I feel uh, morally that I, 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 have, I have to be here to help out those who are in need right now. Clandy Costa has been a nurse for 27 years. She's been hands off working as a case manager in recent years, but she is now headed to the front lines here inside New Jersey's first field hospital, which we toured last week. Costa volunteered for daily 12 hour shifts, and she is paying for her own stay at a local hotel. Uh, so I volunteered to uh, uh, to pay out of my pocket uh, so I can be here. A true hero, even as some continue to flout state orders to stay home. In Rumson, one man is facing charges after police say he threw a concert in his front yard for 30 people and streamed it on Facebook. Guests cursed out police, prompting an uproar on social media. At today's press briefing, Governor Phil Murphy showed a photo of a GI soldier carrying a jackass through a minefield. So to all the jackasses out there, uh, who we now have to carry to make sure they don't make life worse for the rest of us. Uh, we know who you are and we will not relent. Listening to the state order could now be more crucial than ever. The reality of what's coming down in the next couple weeks, uh, to the governor's point, we're doing everything that we can, but these parties may lead to somebody not not being on a ventilator. The surge is about to begin. State officials pinpointed peak dates between April 19th and May 11th, predicting a wide range of possible cases between 86,000 to a half million people sick in New Jersey. 3,600 new cases were reported today and 86 deaths, pushing the statewide death toll to over 1,000. One of the dead, Jersey City Councilman Michael Yoon, a father and grandfather who served his city for nearly three decades. Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop said we will miss him and we will continue to aggressively fight against this pandemic now in his honor. The state is moving aggressively to get access to more hospital beds for the surge. This afternoon, President Trump said New Jersey will have access to some of the beds on the U.S. Comfort in New York. The curve is flattening, but this is no time to spike any footballs or to take our foot off the gas. Even if the curve is flatter, we still have a week and a half to go at least until we hit the peak. This is not over and not by a long shot.